Chris here at KC Power Clean here to talk about really a somber message, the science of efflorescence. It's a kind of a dreaded word in our cleaning industry. One of our nuances that makes us special is our ability to blast clean. Many people in the pressure washing industry just rely on chemicals and hot water. If they have that, that's a good starting point. But one of the things that takes us next level is that ability to blast with a a fine media. In the process of doing so, both acid washing restoration and media blast cleaning, there's a potential for efflorescence. And what is efflorescence? Efflorescence is essentially the releasing of moisture vapor that trickles up and weeps up out of the concrete or hard surface. It could be brick or stone, but usually some kind of hard surface exterior. Usually, but not always, it's adjacent to uh, and supported by some kind of landfill. So most of the time it's like a horizontal surface, but it could also be a vertical surface. And on those vertical surfaces, typically it's adjacent to like some kind of retaining wall function where there's the presence of like moist dirt. And what happens is every concrete or hard surface has like a surface tension that can be measured in terms of a breathability or moisture evaporation rate. And in the world of concrete, there's a lot of science to it. I'm just dangerous enough to be scary uh, or knowledgeable enough to be dangerous probably would be the way to put that. But I do know from 15 years of being involved and overseeing and hearing about thousands of projects in the exterior cleaning industry. And I've seen quite a few of them. And and for us, we're we're at a large scale with our company and on the West Coast. I see probably one of these every 30 days or so where we have efflorescence. Most of the time, it's on some kind of blast cleaning job. I would say about 5% of our blast cleaning jobs have the potential to release moisture that's unwanted. What does it look like? Here on the bricks, this was a post blast where this white powdery salt was a quick rush of moisture to the surface that collected salts. And the salts are literally powdery and you can identify it by literally just wiping your fingers across the surface and seeing a white salty powder. How do you stop it? Well, cost effectively, you can't because we're not creating it. Uh, and this isn't a blame shifting way. It's just a way to educate that what we've seen, like we didn't create the moisture that exists. We just released it. I know that could sound a little bit blame shifty, but really we, we, we say this in the spirit of full transparency. So you understand the risks associated with the job because it's not cost effective for us to go and do some kind of analytical lab testing over every part of everyone's concrete prior to engaging in some small price restoration job where their margins are small. It would kill the industry. So what we, what we do to people is we try to uh, forewarn them of this risk and say, this is part of the nature of this of this job. And if we encounter it, we're going to run through it and we predetermine that based on the level of setup and containment if we have to redo it. And by redo it, I mean rewash it or in some cases reblast it, which usually isn't the solution because what happens is the way you fight this is you just let it breathe out. The idea is every piece of concrete or hard surface is withholding some level of moisture content currently existing. And it's not breathing out and escaping at a transmission rate at which it's collecting. So it's building up an excess of moisture. That's called moisture trap. Sometimes that reveals itself as a dark stain in concrete or the way concrete marbleizes and looks different is often a reflection of that uh, moisture gathering. That's why new concrete's often sandblasted or top cast finish because it increases the surface profile and it allows a greater vapor transmission rate. But the way we fight it is once it's released by exposing or, or agitating the surface or profiling the surface, the surface tension, which was really acting as like a sealant or a suppressant to hold it in and have a slow transmission rate, allows it to expedite and come out faster. And really the idea is just to let it continue to breathe out and dry clean it or use minimal water to continue to wet clean it. There are some acidic cleaners that we have that are non-toxic that have a residual um, salt fighting effect that we can put into the surface that are cost effective for for everyone involved. Um, The other solution is if you're doing a surface coating on top of it, there are penetrative vapor barriers that can block that vapor transmission. And it's very common in the concrete overlayment industry or epoxy coatings. But we're talking about vapor blockers that in today's 2023's market bearing prices often get installed over $5 a foot, which is more than our entire restoration process. So the idea of finding a cost effective solution in the cleaning industry, not the waterproofing industry, we're talking about like peanuts and our ticket price is compared to like concrete resurfacing projects. It's just a risk that that's why if you understand the context of the economics, we ask that you share in that in order to keep it cost effective for all. Yes, one out of 20 projects may have this potential to do this, but 
Have no fear. If you're patient, within 30, 60, or 90 days, we always see the moisture stop breathing. Unless there's like a leaky pipe underground or your pool plaster is like immediately leaking into that surface and the source of that moisture, the excess of moisture, had a chance to breathe out sufficiently. But that's rarely the case. It's usually, hey, the concrete's been in 10 years. It's collected a lot of moisture in part because hard water sprinklers on top and they didn't finish the concrete and whatever the case, concrete breathes and vapor transmission comes out from day one. But it started to slowly get a lower vapor transmission rate because of the contaminants added to the surface or maybe the finishing technique of the concrete, whether it be sprinklers, dirt and everything else. And those minerals start to build up and block the rate of of vapor transmission. Whatever case you build up that excess of uh, moisture vapor. And at this point, I'm rambling. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you can uh, find that place you're trusting us. We care deeply about seeing projects through from start to finish and making sure you're 100% satisfied. That's our mission is to improve people's lives with giant service. And uh, that giant's an acronym for the values that we believe will help achieve that. Uh, A lot of grit, integrity, and added positive attitudes, uh, northbound, which is a a, a continual progress type of concept and, and teamwork. So if you can do that with us, we're here for you. Thanks for watching Efflorescence.